Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dave, and we're the IB English Guys. Today we're going to talk about leveraging AI and talking about how we can use AI to generate writing topics. Mr. Giles, and teachers and students out there, many times we're given a creative task and we look at that cursor, we just stare at it blankly for 15, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, and that's wasted time. So today we want to talk about, hey, how can we use our personalized learning assistant AI to get unstuck. Yeah, we're talking about a Socratic dialogue. And by Socratic dialogue, we're talking about an, engaging with that bot so that it's asking us questions and we're answering and we're having that dialogue back and forth. Mr. Giles, to engage our brain. The miracle, though, is that after we go through that QA session with ChatGPT, it can then synthesize all that information and make recommendations based off of the answers that we provided. Pretty amazing stuff. How do we use this in our class, Mr. Giles? Well, we were in a media, a media studies unit. We were looking at media and we were talking about news articles and talking about opinion articles. And the assessment for the, for the, uh, for the unit was for students to create their own uh, article about a newsworthy item. They could write a news article or an opinion article, but they had the whole canvas of topics to choose from. We had a handful of students who invariably knew what they wanted to write and off they went. Our, we had a group of students that sort of leveraged Google News. Can we talk about the instructions we gave the students, Mr. Giles? Sure, we went to Google News and when you go to Google News, we could see the different um, categories of, of news um, items and news articles that were there. That was one way for students to kind of drill down and think about where, where would my interest lie? And then from there, they actually wrote down some topics that captured their attention. That was one way to kind of steer them in a direction of finding it. And that worked for a handful of students, but we still had about 15 students who were stuck. Uh, Mr. Giles, in a perfect world, we would have had one-on-one -on -one writing conferences with each kid. We don't have that kind of time. So let's talk about how we use ChatGPT to help those students become unstuck. What was the prompt we engineered? I, I'll, I'll read it aloud. I'm a grade 10 English student. I will create a piece of writing for assessment. I must produce either a news story or an opinion article on a topic of my choice. I'm having trouble finding a topic or an area of focus for my work. Please lead me through a Socratic dialogue to help me determine a focal point for this task. Ask one question at a time. Please break this into small steps and ask one question. Give me an opportunity to respond to each question before moving on to the next question. After approximately 10 questions, Please synthesize my responses and offer some suggested assessment pathways. Okay, really meaty prompt that we've engineered for our students. Let me identify a few key aspects. So teachers, if you want to engineer a similar prompt, you know what to hit. Uh, obviously, I'm a grade 10 English student. We have to define some parameters. We don't want us talking to us like we're Einstein, right? So I'm a grade 10 student. <laughs> uh, I'm telling it the task, uh, and I'm asking to take me through a Socratic dialogue. Uh, that idea of one question at a time, we don't want the bot just peppering the students with questions and overwhelming them. Uh, I think it's important to say, give me an opportunity to answer. And then the key instruction here is after 10 questions, please synthesize my answers and come up with some creative pathways to, that I can explore. So that's what we asked the bot to do, Mr. Joss. Let's look at a real use case from one of our students. Uh, and let's see, what do we notice here? Yeah. I, again, I like how the bot is saying, hey, I'm delighted to help you. And it's there, there, we, we see that sort of relationship being started. And it, we think about what are some different um, topics that sort of capture your attention as the, as the opening um, idea. And it's interesting. This student said, hey, you know, I was looking at Google News. A new snail has been discovered. And that's not that interesting to me. But it was interesting to the student. They said, I care about the environment. Uh, and how did this conversation progress? Then we see that that the bot asking some questions about this uh, this discovery of the new sp snail species, which again requires some knowledge by the student. Definitely. Now you can click on the full link and see the whole chat. It is fascinating to see this Socratic dialogue between student and bot. But the point we want to make here is after about 10 or 12 questions, the bot did exactly as prompted. It synthesized the information, Mr. Giles, and it came up with a few creative pathways. Uh, how did this all end, Mr. Giles? Well, we see that the, uh, the bot gave some different opportunities for the student to show their learning on this newsworthy item of the new snail. You could talk about a news story, uh, think about how that news story could actually begin with the discovery of the snail and giving some suggestions for writing. Again, I can see a teacher giving that same, same offering, like, hey, why don't you write a news story about this? Yeah, uh, on alternative pathways, the, the bot said, hey, how about an opinion piece where you kind of use that story of the newfound snail as the springboard 
to have a much more sophisticated conversation about the importance of preserving the environment. A great pathway. Yeah. And then there was one final pathway that the bot provided. Mixed genres actually taking the idea of news and opinion and mixing them together and having that news story break and then bringing in the personalized uh, opinion that would come in. That's, that's interesting too. Now, the truth is that this student, after going through this process, was ready to write. They actually did not need this teacher intervention here. But I will say that during this time in the class, Mr. Giles and I are conferencing with kids who do require that personal one-on-one -on -one assistance. By the end of the class period, every student was off and running on their task. Uh, and it was an absolutely important process that they went through with AI. Yeah. Closing I, thoughts, Mr. Giles. Yeah, I think it's that active engagement with the bot and the active like back and forth questioning. But like you said, the teacher is also able to engage with the student as they're engaging with the computer. But it's that collective work that they're doing and that active investigation that can help get a student unstuck, find a great topic. Yeah, so folks, in closing, we want you to think about leveraging ChatGPT and artificial intelligence as a personal learning assistant. And teachers, this can be your assistant in the classroom. The students can engage with this technology while you're having one-on-one -on -one conferences with other students, the end product being that all students leave further ahead in their learning. We hope this video provided some value for you. Give it a try. Let us know if you have any questions and see you next time. Thanks, guys.